The bottom line here is that in your early 20s, you are becoming. There are a lot of question marks at this time, but at the same time, you're doing a lot of hard work. When I say hard work, I mean you're testing things out, but you're going hard into the things that you test. Don't try. Do. Forget about making an attempt. Forget about tr testing it out. Although you may not end up in the profession or in the area that you're starting out, you don't want to go halfway. Right now, it's not the right time to read books. It's not the right time to consume information. You must be masculine and manly right now. Pick up your sword and go. Go get it until you're done. You don't want to just dip your toe in. You want to jump in hard. Do not try. Do go hard. It requires a tremendous amount of courage to say, I'm going to give this thing a chance. I'm going to give it my all. And if it doesn't work out, that's okay. But I know that I tried my best. You're already overwhelmed. So number one, have some compassion for yourself and realize that you're never going to be who you were last year. Let that guy die. It's not easy to let go of a very pleasing part of you. You had all these friends, right? You were RA and you were leader of the pack. You were doing all kinds of cool shit and everybody. The greatest, the hardest thing to do is to change in the face of those who appreciate you. Who you are today is no longer resourceful for who you're going to be, who you are to be next. For you to fulfill your greatest purpose, here on this planet, in this lifetime, you have to have multiple deaths to immature versions of yourself so that you can be reborn as a stronger version of yourself. That's how the process goes. So my friends, Think in terms of your particular wound, even if you're dealing with one right now, and know this. Whatever struggle you're dealing with, whatever challenge you're facing, whatever injury, whatever wound you have right now, it is a birth opportunity. It is an opportunity to, like the female, go in and allow the internal processes to put the pieces together where a new you can be rebirthed. Be disrespectful. Be dangerous. Do all those things that you wouldn't dare do because mommy and daddy wouldn't like it. You must get in touch with the sensation in your body that leads you to do things that are right for you. When you are in your 20s, it is absolutely essential to go and do the most dangerous thing possible, which is follow your heart. Trust your instinct, trust your intuition, and forget about success. Forget about winning in the world. Forget about stacking. Forget about gaining and getting and amassing more wealth. These things will come and they will come properly. They will feel good. It will be smooth when they come. If and only if you're on the right path, on your road. Is anything to be judged? and it is everything to be embraced and acknowledged. Embrace these challenges. Embrace this struggle. Embrace this heartache. It is the exact same steps that you took when that bell rung. You say the bell rang and I couldn't wait to get outside. Well, guess what, bro? The bell is ringing right now. Get outside! If you don't know what your path is, if you don't know what feels good, if you don't have inspiration dragging you down a path, then you must experiment. Go with the hunches. Go with the feelings. Go with the non-traditional path, the less traveled path the road less traveled. Go where you can be a pioneer, do something new, do something revolutionary, be a leader. Meaning that you can set yourself up to fail by imagining that they're going to reject you when in fact, within their hearts are the seeds of 
love and evolution and growth and maybe they will receive you. So it's difficult for us to actually get a gauge on what's going to happen in our life if we make judgment based on past results. Maybe you've seen this happen before to someone else, but it doesn't mean that it's going to happen to you. Stay open in that way. I would invite you. Honesty always alleviates our pain, even if it brings external resistance, even if other people fight with you. At least you were honest, you were pure, and you were honoring your heart in that way. You must grow stronger. You must follow your heart. You must exercise your unique, divine blueprint in this lifetime, or it'll be a waste. All the things that you struggle with in your life, you chose because it was for your soul's growth. There is no growth without struggle. It's on the same level as it is with weightlifting, as it is with your soul, with your psychology, with your heart. You must go through struggle so that you can ascend. And so, congratulations once again. You chose these struggles. Take full responsibility. This is your life. Everything I hear coming from your mouth sounds like victimhood. They f***ed me up. They made me. I had no choice. You had all the choice in the world before you got here, bruh. You see, if you were given different circumstances, if you were given different parents, if you were given different struggles, they would have been for a different soul. These are yours. Own them. Because if you soft step while you've got that sword in your hand, if you double guess while you're out there getting it and grinding it, you're not going to be satisfied with yourself because of the lukewarm efforts and the lukewarm results were associated with only going halfway. Things will be the same or we'll, we'll, you'll go back to where you were. And um, that perspective of and wanting things to be back the way they were prior to a a tragedy, this is the way people look at circumstances in their life. But it's gone, man, that means it doesn't belong to me anymore. When something leaves you, that means it's not yours anymore, that's all it is. Another thing I would advise against is looking too sharply at what other people are doing and ending up being a copycat. Of course, you've got to imitate before you innovate, but always with your own fingerprint, always thinking in terms of how am I going to bring something unique, my unique song, my unique song, my unique fingerprint, my unique vibration. How am I going to deliver that to the planet as a gift? You are a gift. Every single one of us is a gift. How are you going to exercise and share your gift? Reignite your soul by reigniting the spark in your body. It's definitely natural to do this. Sometimes the way it happens is based on unnatural clots. But what happens is when you, in that stage, in that time, in my life, it didn't make sense for me to be here because I'm in a going down process. When you go up, right, I'm up, I'm riding high, and then you come down, you're not going to start again at the same circle, right? So you're not the same version of yourself. You can't expect yourself to be who you were during the last cycle. It won't happen. You have new experiences, you're older, your physiology changes, all kinds of happens. But the ego, like you referred to, wants to attach to what was. You had a great year last year, but let it go because it's no longer. You're not that person anymore. You've got to allow yourself to go through whatever you're going through right now to re-emerge on the right timetable as a stronger version of yourself. Just because summer ended doesn't mean that you're supposed to come back up on that next circle. You might still be going down. 
failure is important. You need failure in order to succeed. It is the principle of death and rebirth. It is the principle of catabolic and anabolic. It is the principle of going down so that you can rise up. Done.